a couple of days ago, I was in the boxing gym and the workout we had was so brutal. I remember when I walked out of that gym, my hands felt like noodles. I could, I pretty much couldn't throw punches after that. The workout itself wasn't actually that complicated. It was pretty straightforward. Once we were done with warm-ups and all the shit like that, my boxing coach said, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do one minute of hitting the heavy bag, one minute of cardio, one minute of rest. And it was just a cycle. We were just repeating that. Usually, my coach comes up with some very creative circuits, very long and creative circuits. Today was different. Just three things. Heavy bag, cardio, and a one-minute break. The catch to all of this is we didn't know, we didn't knew for how long we were going to go. We didn't know how many rounds it will actually take. All we knew is that we had one minute for each exercise. And holy fuck. I don't know for how long we were there. An hour? Dude, I remember there was a point in time where I couldn't throw punches. Literally, my my hands and arms as a whole, they felt like noodles. My shoulder felt like it was going to pop out. My body was just so teared down that I felt like crying. And I don't mean this in the sense of, uh, uh, the workout is too tough for me. No, I meant that my body was so physically exhausted that tears just started pouring on their own. It, it, they weren't like, of course it wasn't like, ooh, as I said. But as I realized that I was fucking tearing up, <laughs> that's when I realized how fucking demanding physically this workout was. And you know what was the best part about all of this? Do you know what was the best part? When I walked out of that boxing gym, I felt fucking amazing. I felt so good about myself. I saw all the other guys in the gym giving up after like five or six rounds. I stayed till the very fucking end. I was so happy about myself. And you know what's the thing with these type of workouts? Weightlifting doesn't even fucking compare. Wait, what? You're probably arguing against me because you've never been hit in the face. I promise you, weightlifting isn't even close to martial arts when it comes down to physical demand. And pretty much all we did was just cardio, right? One minute this, one minute bag, one minute cardio, one minute rest. Most people, maybe not most, but a major part of people left early. And here's the, the thing with these workouts is there is so much self-discovery in these type of workouts. When you're doing something, but you see, oh yeah, three minutes and I'm good. Your mind works differently. Your mind works differently because you know that eventually there will be a point in time where you don't have to do that thing. When you're going on and on and on and you don't know when there's going to be over to it, that's when you realize who you actually are. That's when you finally find your true barriers within your mind. That's how you measure your mental strength. Because, yeah, your body's going to be tired, but if you have enough mental strength, you can still push yourself to keep going. And this is the thing. The more you put yourself through this discomfort, through these terrible fucking moments, the more you learn in the long term. I mean, read the title of this video. If you're going through hell, keep going. It might last for fucking years when you're in a rut. But if you learn from your mistakes, if you finally learn what you've done wrong and you're patient enough, you will bounce back. You will bounce back. As I said, it is in these moments when you're in a fucking rut, when you're struggling and you don't know when there's going to be an over to it. That's when you find out who you truly are. It is in that moment where you meet your true barriers. Okay. You might think that you've gone for several hours doing something, but then you check the time. Three minutes and this is this, this. I had this all the time.
when I started recording my videos. It's so weird to me, to be honest, because when I speak to people in person, I don't think about anything. This is perfect flow state for me. But when I started recording videos and I started speaking in front of the camera, it was completely different. Things took a 180. Suddenly, I started stuttering more. My eye contact was all over the place. And the best part about all of this is I would think that my videos would last like 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. On my whole YouTube channel, I maybe posted one video that's over 20 minutes. All the time when I started making videos, I think that I have like a super long video, but then I then I check the time. Hey yo, what? Three minutes, 13 seconds? It was always so annoying for me, especially on days when I really didn't feel like recording. Really just fucking, I would have like some terrible workout on the same day and my mind was just tired, dead. Literally, I would become brain dead after some of my workouts. But I still would have a video to make. <laughs> and then I'll grab the phone, place it on my little tripod. You know what's funny? I actually don't even have a tripod. I'll be using a paper roll and a, <laughs> and a piece of notes. This is my recording setup. This, I know. I, oh my God. <laughs> I know I have like a laptop and all this shit like that, but I don't have a camera. I don't have a camera. I record with my phone placed on the paper roll. Oh, I can't. Fuck. There we go. Okay. This is my recording setup. And I remember I would place the phone in the right spot. I would say something, say something, say something. And then check and like, how is this so short? <laughs> Dirty mind, bro. <laughs> yeah. As I said, it is in these moments where you truly fucking discover yourself so next time you're gonna fucking go through something that's very struggling next time you're gonna go through something that really fucking tests you don't just give up why test your mental strength if you're going through a workout i want to say weightlifting workout but these are a little bit different if you're going through a cardio workout and you feel like you want to just give up you feel like you can't go further. Fuck, this applies to weightlifting as well. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> if you're doing fucking bench press, for example, and you feel like you just can't squeeze that one more rep, you feel like there, you might have enough strength. Because bodybuilders often say that, oh yeah, uh, two reps till failure is the most optimal for blah, 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 blah. blah. But then when they do an exercise, which they, they focus on going to failure, you feel like you have some extra strength left there. But you try to push it, just... they have enough strength. But their mind won't let them go through this much stress, this much stress on their muscles, this much discomfort. So they just tell their spotter, yo, yo, push this, push this, push this for me, push this for me. <laughs> I'm stuttering so much today, this is so funny. But this is where you truly discover yourself. This is how you measure your fucking mental strength. Not by doing some, woo, Am I, uh, grab a little keyboard and just, uh, uh, am I mentally strong challenge? I bet nobody in the world does that. <laughs> you get the general idea, however. This is the way you discover who you truly are. If you like the way I talk and you fuck with my content, uh, click the button, give me a comment, join the Discord, suck my balls. That's all I got to say for today. I'll see you in the next one.